Bienvenue en Bourgogne. The region of Burgundy epitomizes the French Isle de Vivre and its unique culture and heritage nurtures passion, innovation, and warmth. The wines are elegant and world-renowned with names like Chambertin, Claude Vougeot, Nuit Saint-Georges, and Chablis. Its gastronomy includes the hearty Boeuf Bourguignon of Julia Child fame, and of course, the region's delectable mascot, the escargot. The cities and villages like Dijon, Beaune, Vesle, and Joigny embody just a fraction of Burgundy's rich history and culture. And where would Paris and New York be without native son Gustave Eiffel, father of the Eiffel Tower and engineer of the Statue of Liberty? The capital Dijon is conveniently accessible in just an hour and a half from Paris by the high-speed train. Once there, the best way to visit Dijon's captivating old quarter is by following the Alves Trail, named after Dijon's lucky charm perched on the western face of the Notre Dame Church. It will lead you to the Palace of the Dukes of Burgundy, now the capital's magnificent fine arts museum. Its recently restored guard room showcases the tombs of Philip the Bold and his son John the Fearless. Each tomb boasts 41 delicately detailed alabaster statuettes known as tomb mourners, exhibited to rave reviews during a seven-city tour in the U.S. that began at the Met in 2010. Dijon is also a food lover's delight. Follow the Alt to the savory indoor market called Les Halles du Marché, then go across the street for a meal at the edgy and delicious Des Envies restaurant. Chef David Zudas, who gave up his Michelin star, artfully serves French fusion creations in his lively and fun bistro. And yes, there's a new mustard in town. In addition to the elegant My Shop, this September, the Edmund Fallot Mustards opened a beautiful boutique which serves fresh mustard just a couple of yards from our good friend, the Owl. To fully experience this fascinating region, visiting nearby Bone and the vineyards in between are a must, including the famed walled vineyard of the 15th century Chateau du Claude Vougeot. Bone is considered the wine capital of La Côte, a 37-mile stretch of celebrated vineyards between Dijon and Santenay. A young American says it all. Hello, I'm Ray Walker. I am a vintner, I'm a négociant vinificateur in Burgundy. I am from San Francisco Bay Area and I've been here since 2009 making wines from Premier Cruise and Grand Cruise. What I like most about Burgundy is you have all this richness of heritage surrounding you everywhere you look, such as a place like this at the Abbey de la Boussière. You have these buildings that can be seven, eight, nine hundred years old, and everywhere you look, you find passion, you find wine, and the life here just brings everything in the complete circle. What I like about the wines in Burgundy is that they show a sense of place. And you find that not only in the wines, but you find that in the food. You find that in the local culture. And that's something that we believe makes Burgundy very special. Once in Bone, do not miss the Hôtel Dieu, a marvel of Burgundian Flemish art and architecture, founded in the 15th century as a hospital for the poor. But one should not dismiss the lesser known areas of Eastern Burgundy and Chablis. Exploring this area means finding a gem at every turn. The perched medieval village of Vesle is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, crowned with the glorious Sainte Madeleine Basilica. Then there is Joigny, a picturesque village terraced along the hill known as the Côte Saint-Jacques, with lovely views of the Yonne River, and home to the iconic hotel restaurant of the same name owned by three Michelin star chef Jean-Michel Laurent. And on the way back to Dijon, one should stop at Chateau Neuf en Auxois, notable for its distinctive stone houses and imposing medieval fortress. Burgundy is also renowned for its exceptional accommodations that are sure to enhance any experience. Just seven and a half miles from Vesle is the Chateau de Vaudeluny, a monument in itself, this five-star hotel features regal rooms and young chef Franco Boani, who marries regional recipes with a dash of his Mauritius Island flavors. Near Bone, Ray Walker matures his wines at the Abbaye de la Buissière, and on Dijon's lovely Place de la Libération, 
the father and son team of the Pré aux Clairs serve up a Michelin-starred restaurant along with a delightfully fresh contemporary hotel. There are many ways to discover this iconic region. An uber-relaxing barge cruise along the lovely canals of Burgundy offers passengers the comforts of a first-class hotel, the pleasures of fine dining, and excursions to explore the region's secret byways. Burgundy is also the perfect biking destination. Whether you're biking canal towpaths or following the wine routes, it is easy to take in the sights, follow a whim, or stop for a glass of wine at a local cellar. Here's what Doug and Katie have to say. We just got married in Washington, D.C. last weekend, and we are now here in Bone in Burgundy for our honeymoon. We decided to come to Burgundy because she had never been to France, but we wanted the real French countryside and the wine country. Katie and I love wine and we love French wine in particular, but we wanted to come here to see how it's made and how people enjoy it and uh, why the French make such good wine, especially in Burgundy. I honestly didn't know what to expect. So far it has exceeded our expectations. It's gorgeous here. We have a perfect day uh, and we're excited to see the rest of the region.